Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Russo. Today we're doing Let's Talk Legend. We're talking about Urza Silex. So Urza Silex, which is also known as Golgothian Silex or Argivian Silex, but it is a destructive artifact regardless. It is thought to have been created by a Thran or an earlier civilization, but that has not yet been confirmed. At the end of the Brothers War on Dominaire, it was used to unleash the blast and all wars. The first appearance of the Salix was actually in 34 AR when it was caught by a fisherman near Yoma. It was later then sent to Terrace City for study. They discovered it was made of some kind of copper-like material and it's described as a bowl on a pedestal. Like a real life like Rosetta Stone, this Silex contained many languages such as Semifanian, Balaji, and Thran. There were two words that were able to decipher Silex and Golgoth, which is why it was given that name, and then with that it was able to be able to translate other glyphs that actually said, wipe the land clear, bring the ending, topple the empires to bring a fresh start, call the end, fill with memories of the land. When Terrace City was actually attacked, a person known as Loran was able to escape with Silex. She eventually got wounded and captured, and it later became in the hand of another called Ashnod. During the Battle of the Brothers War, she gave the Silex to Taunos, then in turn gave it to Urza. At this point, Urza used the Silex as the war had ravaged the land already. The blast that had ensued from the Silex destroyed the island of Argoth and caused what was known as the Ice Age. But after the Ice Age, the planeswalker Ravidil became in possession of the Silex. It was obtained during a duel against Imbrick. This, there was a meeting of on Minerad, which was called the Reckoning of the Sages, where Ravidil threatened to use the Silex. As a result, several planeswalkers, such as Grenfell Moore and Christina of the Woods, promised they wouldn't interfere with him, and the Silex was never used. But in the year of 1281, the situation occurred again, but was actually destroyed by long daggers during a shatter spell. There are theories that the Silex wasn't really destroyed, but in fact, it was a replica. Sixty years after the mending, Karn had actually found and dug up the Silex in Yavin Maya. The sole purpose of digging it up was that it could be used to destroy the new Phyrexia. After discovery, Karn actually went to the caves of Kolios, where he supposedly found a clay tablet with information about the Silex. In fear of other people knowing about the Silex, he went to the manor in Shiv, where he hid it in Jehora's closet. Unfortunately, that did not work as Phyrexia's sleeper agents had found about it and under the orders of Shieldred. On top of that, the completed Adjani had destroyed the Silex and disabled Karn in the new Phyrexia during a major attack on the Manor Ring. But thankfully, the planeswalker Sahali Raye was able to find Karn's notes and was able to create a replica of the Silex. Ray was, had noticed that the Silex did not work because it required some correct spells to work which were lost during time. As she created a temporal anchor, another planeswalker called Tefiri was able to get back in time to figure out how the Silex worked. Tefiri had used the opportunity to ask Urza and how it had such a device as the Silex worked. Urza said, it's not actually a mechanical or a magical thing. It's actually the person itself that makes the Silex work. But the person must have a desperate mindset. As he had just figured this out and how to use the Silex, the temporal anchor malfunctioned and made him unconscious in the present. Therefore, Kea was the only person to know how to use it. With this knowledge, she went to New Phyrexia to destroy the Realm Breaker with the help of other planeswalkers. With that said, this is all the information we have on the Silex, and we'll just go over some cards. This one being Urza Silex, represented in three cards, and there are continuity issues, but I didn't want to get too much into that. So the first one you'll be seeing throughout the video is Urza Silex in the Dominary United. And says, Exile the Silex. Each player chooses six lands they control. Destroy all other permits activated in the sorcery. And when the Silex is put in the battlefield, you may pay two. If you do, search your library for a Planeswalker card, reveal it and put it into your hand. Which would be awesome if you could use this combination with the Urza. And the card that started it all is the Golkathian Silex. And I always say that wrong. Way, way back in Antiquities. And it says, All cards from Antiquities expansion include. The Silex must be discarded from play, so it destroys actually everything. And the last card the Silex is represented in is Karn Silex. And when it is back in the field tapped, players can't pay life to cast spells or activate those that are mana abilities. Then you can exile, destroy each non-land permanent 
value of X or less active in your homey as a sorcery. So now those are the three interesting cards that made the Urza Silex as its current name, but you never know what will happen in the future. Now there are two cards that Silex is depicted in, and while this is the inscribed talent, therefore it's showing on how the Silex works or is names that are associated with it. And then we have Ashnod Silex. It is quite represented in this picture, and as we know, this is possibly a duplicate that was used throughout the storyline. Now the Silex is depicted in many cards, so we're going to just start off with the Brothers War. And as you can see in the picture, there's the Brothers War with the Silex in the picture, and it's just I think this one represents the Silex uh, better than most of the cards. And next we'll have is her, because I'm not going to say her name because I always screw up the name. And there's the Silex in the picture in itself when she uses that to help with how it works. And this is an interesting card from Brothers War. It is called Faithful Handoff. And the saying, even in the picture, says, Get the Silex to Urza at any cost. Tell him to fill it with memories of the land. Ashnod to Teonos. Another cool picture of the Silex. And it's quite, well, it's in Urza's hand. He's ready to use it to end all wars. Then we have another obvious card, Lauren of the Third Path. And there she is working on the Silex right there, set on the picture and on a pedestal. I think this is one of the most representative pictures of the Silex outside of it, what it is represented. And then we have Urza's Command. And there we go. There in front is the Silex. Next card that we have is Lauren's Escape. And that's when the city was destroyed. And therefore, she is carrying the Silex out of the city. As Terra C. C.D. Byrne, Felden pressed the Silex into her, Loran's hands and urged her to run. Hope ran with her. Next we have is Urza's Ruinous Blast. Centuries ago, one man's vengeance plunged the world into ice and darkness. And there he is, using the Silex for the last time. Now there are only two cards that actually the Silex is referred to, this one being Commodity's Wake. It says the Silex Blacks has raised the land, leaving behind only snow and sorrow. Urza stood alone in this sudden silence. And this card's picture is very representative of that. And the last card that, well, it's represented, depicted, or quoted in is Lanor Waste. The quote says, The Silex Blast marked not only the end of the war, but the end of Dominaria as most knew it, the Antiquities War. And we all know that it was the Ice Age that came about after this huge blast. And at the moment, this is all the information we have on the Silex. Hopefully, there'll be more in the future as this is one of those random artifacts that keep popping up in the magic world. So I hope you guys have a good day and a good evening.